Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I wanted to pop on and talk about women who try the keto diet and they have a terrible response and why this is happening and then what do I do next, right? So this is a really common thing I hear from a lot of women. They're trying to shift something, change something so that they, oh my gosh, I've been really struggling to lose weight. I'm, you know, something's off in my system. I'm not seeing any results. I'm trying to be active and work out, but that's not working for me either. How do I really navigate this? How do I really change this? And so, oh my gosh, you should try keto. This worked for me. That worked for me. Da, 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 da. Keto does work really, really well for men. The male body and how it responds to a restrictive type of diet is completely different than the female body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if you are an active female, especially if you are a female with hormonal issues underlying, right? Which is a lot of us. I started this whole path because I had ovarian cysts, horrific ovarian cysts. So a lot of us have these hormonal issues that we just try and navigate through or sort of, huh, how can I survive this week, right? And get to next week where I feel like I'll be feeling better. So we try these different things. We'll try, oh my gosh, let me try, I'll try anything to try and get us to improve. I'm totally stuck with my results. I cannot get things to improve. Um, how, how do I shift this? Right? And... You know, the thing is, is that doing a keto diet where you're not having enough carb is really harsh on the female endocrine system, especially when you're doing it long term. You might be able to get by for a few weeks. Oh my gosh, I feel better. Oh my gosh, this is going great. La 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 la. Look at me. I lost some weight. Yay. And then all of a sudden everything crashes and it crashes big time and it crashes hard. And you are going to, hi Tara. <laughs> um, and you are going to notice oh, I'm going in the wrong direction. My hormones went completely bananas. I, I've had a lot of calls with women who are starting um, the spring round of the next 12 week challenge. And a lot of these, I can't tell you, this is over a handful of them right off the top of my head that I'm thinking of that have had this experience. They're like, okay, yep, I had some hormonal things. It wasn't that bad. You know, within the past five years, I did keto last year and it was horrific. My body crashed. I have horrible hot flashes now and I don't even know what the heck to do, right? Yeah, yeah. So I should mention with the 12 week challenge that I run, it is full. I do have it capped because I really want to make sure that the women who are enrolled in this protocol, I have the, um, the, my time and attention that they need. So I do cap it and we are full. We don't start till April 6th. Um, but I did make that announcement yesterday that we are not, um, that I don't have any more slots. However, if you are saying, oh my gosh, yes, this is me. How do I work with you? I do have a handful of slots that I did open up um, and made my schedule available to work with me in a private one-on-one -on -one situation. So I put a link there for that. Um, but again, women who are like, I don't understand. I thought I was doing this healthy, healthy thing and I felt okay at the beginning of it, but all of a sudden it, it switched in my body. And now, holy cow, I have these hot flashes. I feel terrible. And now I've gained more weight than anything. What the heck? And I'm still terrified to eat normal carbs like I normally do because I'm going to get super fat, right? I'm going to gain all this weight. So here's what's really going on in the system for women. When you're restricting one of these major nutrient groups, you're actually causing more stress and strain to your hormonal system. You're freaking your body out. It doesn't like it clearly doesn't like it. <laughs> so just by adding it back in, it's not going to work like that either, especially if you've been through menopause. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Your body processes carbs differently than anyway. So if you cut them out, your system's like, whoa, 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 hold the phone, buddy. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Right? So you have to be really specific on how you add these carbs back in to really get your body to actually burn them. Otherwise it won't. It won't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's important to do, I mean, some people call it a reverse diet. I don't necessarily call it a reverse diet. It's that type of style, but it's really replenishing the nutrient that your body is missing. And you have to address that hormonal imbalance at the same time. So this is where um, some women who were like, okay, I did keto and I cut out the carbs and I, it, I crashed. It was terrible. I add the carbs back in. It took a little while. I feel better, but holy crap, my hormones are still off and I've gained this weight. What the heck? 
And I'm like, yep, we still have to go through and address that hormonal issue. Some of it's done through supplements, some of it's done through, um, you know, nutrition. And, but again, you need to have all of these nutrient groups represented appropriately for your body and system. Any type of restrictive diet will have a negative effect on the female body because our bodies are not designed to be fat burning all the time. Any type of restriction will trigger an effect in your body to shut down your metabolism. I'm sure some of you are like, yeah, uh, feeling it. Yep. Yeah. And especially right now with a lot of the stress that women are having changes in schedules, right? Maybe you're like, oh, things are still okay. It's just a lot. It's just overwhelming with all of the things out there. Oh, feeling that stress. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That it's adding to it. It's adding to it. So cutting out carbs can be one of the worst things for your system right now, especially. Jessica, been there, done that, right? Yes. So it's essential you're getting protein, fat, and carb in your day. Balanced throughout the day. Throughout the day. You're going to get more energy. You're going to have better function. You're going to feel better. And it's going to keep your system from backfiring hormonally. Really important. So I talk about this stuff. And this is, I want to say, a basic nutrition piece that I cover in the first part of my book, The Female Fat Solution. I talk about the history of nutrition. I talk about nutrition important um, topics, you know, uh, uh, what to focus on for women. And then I go into nutrition for estrogen and progesterone in the female body. And I also talk about um, information for menopause too, nutrition for menopause in here. So I cover a lot of stuff in this book. And that's on Amazon. I also have my podcast, The Female Health Solution. Um, today I just released a really kind of fun episode I did with my husband. <laughs> um, he's kind of a goofy guy. So it's just a fun episode. Just uh, people asked us questions about us, like how we met, that type of a thing. It's a clean episode, you know, very PG. Um, but he's just really funny. Uh, so that was a, that was the episode I did today. Otherwise the podcast is a lot focused on women's health. And, um, then I also have a YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button so that you can stay updated on all the videos that I have coming out because I do update the material. I do update it and talk about things that are really are important and helpful for women right now that need it. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this helpful, share it with somebody that you know could use this message. Um, cause the more women know this information about how their bodies work and function, the more you can do things to help your system work better, function better and get and keep a better result. So that's what I got for you today. Have a great rest of your night. I will see you guys later.